Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today's message deals with consumer scams, consumer scams. And I thought that this was an essential message based on some experiences that I've had in addition to some statistical information out there where people have complained over and over again about various companies doing all sorts of shady things. These types of conversations are the ones that will definitely help people for years and years to come. The kind of conversations where you are advising some people of some things they hadn't thought about, especially young people. Young people are easily targeted for all sorts of consumer scams because they're not knowledgeable about the different issues that might arise, especially when it comes to their money. So some will go along with whatever the company over the phone and the email over the text through snail mail says. And then before long, they are swindled out of their money. A lot of these shady companies know that young people gravitate to fun things, which brings me to one of the complaints that many consumers made back in 2016, and that is sweepstakes, sweepstakes related types of scams. Now, if you know that you have been a part of something, something that was fun, something that was interesting, and you forked over all your information, and then you start wondering why you're getting a stream of mail or email, meanwhile, you never won anything. That's because some company out there sold your information to another company, and unfortunately, They have used your information and used it some more to try to get you to fork over more information. This fraudulent, unwanted spam, email, text, or what have you is all about phishing, trying to get whatever information they can get so that that company can take you for your money or for whatever information is hot for the moment. And then even if you do request to be removed from some of these lists or you try to unsubscribe, they're still sending you information because they have conveniently set it up so that the unsubscribe button doesn't work. Another complaint was debt collection companies. And some of you all, you know about this sort of thing because, well, the phone rings even now. These types of issues that people have involve debt that's owed. Sometimes they are disputing how much debt is owed. They're also upset because the company is harassing them. And then there's other things that these debt collectors do. But the point is, is that there are those companies that once you have a major issue in your life, they are unrelenting about collecting on something that you bought. How about those utility companies that are out there? Cable, telecom, satellite, you name it. You have a billing dispute. You think that you're going to resolve it. You look at the fine print on maybe some service or cover coverage uh, problems or there's some kind of change in the rate or you're trying to cancel or terminate a contract and then you end up having all sorts of problems. Let me take a pause and give you some tips. First up, when you're dealing with any of these companies that you know are giving you the runaround, 
it makes sense to document everything as opposed to talking about all of what uh, you encountered over the phone because sometimes what happens is people claim that no you never made a phone call no we have no record and all of that so whenever you can document you document and you send via snail mail with um, delivery confirmation or the person on the other end has to sign uh, you also want to have your recording going um, some of them claim that they're recording your phone call but it doesn't hurt to record uh, your phone call on the other end okay so you definitely want to have some type of evidence that there is some shady things going on you want to save whatever correspondence they sent to you and you definitely don't want to pay anything until you have ran the information by someone who knows a bit more than you preferably an attorney another issue that tends to come up is around tax season and that is those fraudulent or unwanted telephone calls the kind where the customer service rep or salesperson or whoever is on the other line is saying something about collecting taxes from you um, these are imposter scams okay uh, they'll even go so far as to say that uh, they are a technician or they are providing tech support for something you may have purchased in the past related to uh, taxes or they will just go so far as to act as if they're collecting on a debt okay and it might sound legit because maybe you really do owe uh, a company but once again remember there are all sorts of phishing scams that are out there and the plan is to collect information off of you that they really don't have but this actor or actress is going to work their charm and come up with all sorts of things to make you believe something that's untrue so when you get phone calls like this you want to block them you also want to research the phone calls over the internet and uh, you'll find that other people have had similar issues so do copy down that phone number and uh, investigate a bit now there's another issue and I um, am a little hesitant to get into it just because when you've been the victim of something it doesn't make you feel good to talk about it but the automobile dealers new and used these companies that will work with you so they say and initially it seems okay and all right until the car breaks down days weeks or a few months later okay so then you find out that there's a misrepresentation of the condition of the vehicle you look a little closer your contract has a limited warranty um, you also find out that the vehicle that you purchase uh, maybe the loss of uh, trade-in uh, vehicle the amount of it and so forth uh, is a, a scam in and of itself um, you're paying one amount and it turns out that what it's really worth is something totally different um, this sort of thing happens when they're trying to approve you for financing and so they basically penalize you if your credit isn't a certain way but then sometimes it has nothing to do with your credit they're just looking to make some money and so you end up paying more than what the vehicle is worth there are those though that I've heard had all sorts of warranty issues where the company claimed that they um, were going to cover so many things and then they didn't then there's those individuals who had some title problems um, once they attempted to make a purchase or they already made the purchase but now there's these other problems related to title stuff okay and then there's the advertising that they put across the television screens in print magazines and so forth and it doesn't necessarily align up with what they tell you when you show up 
And then you can throw in all sorts of uh, emissions types of uh, things where uh, they're supposed to handle this, that, and the other. They only give you, you find out it, that it's you that has to take care of some things, and you're only given so many days before you end up having to pay for a uh, vehicle emissions inspection. Okay, so there's just so many little things that show up when you're purchasing an automobile that can leave you with a bad taste in your mouth. Okay, so here is just a rule of thumb. Always check on the company and the location. Okay, where that company uh, is located when it comes to automobile dealer um, dealers and um, new cars used cars because if you put in the wrong location then you might think that that location is okay it's all right and uh, then once you take off and you drive to that particular location that happens to have the same name as another location you find out that's the problematic one so it's a lot of little things that it all boils down to doing some serious due diligence when it comes to making a vehicle purchase finding out what all the fine print is giving yourself some time to think about some things go over some things do some research before you sign any contracts Mortgage lenders, this is another issue that many consumers have, and this one basically involves loan modification and foreclosure issues. There's also uh, those individuals who complain about the lenders, the services, um, how some of the, uh, the uh, things that they get themselves involved in, how the company will renege on a modification offer or delay a modification approval while initiating foreclosure. There's a, also those complaints about the short sales and um, other loss mitigation problems. So these are things that if you are a homeowner, you're an easy target for a whole lot of stuff once your name and your address and your phone number or email or whatever else is in the hands of some of these shady mortgage lender lenders so be on the lookout for that foolishness especially when you're older and you're tr you've been with some of these companies for a long time but then there's those mock ones right it, there's those fake looking ones out there uh, another thing that uh, consumers run up against, especially the younger ones, is schools. We're talking about colleges, universities, you name it. And this is something that's been going on for decades and decades, and I don't think it will ever disappear. What this is is students will complain about these for-profit colleges, which basically I'm just going to put it out there. I think all of them are for-profit um, and they will give you one tuition amount, and then once you get on campus or you are signed in and you find out uh, that there's a whole lot of other stuff involved, okay, um, and the tuition is well over your head. Then there's the issues of loan repayments and when you exactly start repaying, and then, of course, those colleges that suddenly – close and their programs are no longer around and yet they are still expecting people to pay. Now I know some folks who have timeshares and there are those timeshare resellers out there who are really good at manipulating some consumers by trying to sell them their timeshare interests. Uh, they want them basically to pay money to the company that claims that it has some buyers who are interested in your timeshare. But then you find out later, nah, that's not what's really going on. They are just, uh, they're just uh, having some bogus claims. They're false. They're not real. And so the, the money is out there or the fee or whatever one has paid to get the company to get some buyers is lost. There are those consumers that have complained about telephones, okay, cell phones and all the equipment associated with it. Once again, this is, a, uh, this is the type of thing where there's billing disputes on service, on coverage, uh, charges, rates that have been changed, cancellations, terminations, all sorts of uh, strange fees, okay. Pay attention to your bills, okay. 
pay attention look at this fine print pull your bill out today okay uh, publishers and the kind of publishers though that will send books and magazines uh, to your home but then you find out that you haven't received them so these direct mail magazine subscriptions um, sometimes they just don't honor them they you will say that well I didn't receive it and then they will say okay we'll send another one out and then you still haven't received anything nine times out of ten is probably somebody intercepting your magazine and then the company's not willing to refund and then there are those companies that are simply deceptive they're not really direct mail magazine type of companies they're just trying to get your money okay and so then you've got some weird fees on your credit card if you don't pay attention and so they've gotten away with much so there's a number of things once again that you can do in situations like this first up you want to uh, file a complaint with the uh, attorney general of your state uh, you also want to uh, reach out to uh, the Better Better Business Bureau, okay? And you also want to uh, put out a review. Other people need to know about these things. So why not take some time out and let some folks know, look, this is what happened. Put your pride aside uh, and just let folks know that you don't feel comfortable about a particular company here's what has been going on and then update people on whether or not they resolved it okay when you notice that someone is being pretty porchy about getting you to uh, fork over your uh, credit card information your banking or anything whether over the phone via the internet or what have you uh, chances are is that they are looking to get you to commit rather quickly so that uh, basically they get a hold of your money by the time you realize that you're scammed they already have gotten away with it okay so that's why you don't rush and fork over any information no matter how much they promise that you're going to win this you're going to get that and so on and so forth years and years ago I remember um, being caught up in the uh, publisher clearinghouse sweepstakes and I say caught up because year after year they send you the information about how you could potentially win and so what you do is you end up buying a lot of stuff in the hopes that it increases your chance of winning and that doesn't do anything but put you in debt depending on how much stuff you're buying so the promises of winning with a sweepstakes not to say that it's that all of them are not uh, right and there's a bunch of scams and so forth because they are legitimate it's just that your chances of winning are pretty pretty nil uh, they just have too many people involved with those sorts of sweepstakes so it makes sense to look at the ratio of uh, winners it also makes sense to do some research to find out if the company has been around for a long time and are people really winning so you can do um, your due diligence with that as well okay um, but there are so many different ways people uh, try to uh, take your money and the Bible warns us of these sorts of things get into proverbs okay and there's many many proverbs that are related to money also I would pray before going out there and purchasing anything and I do mean anything um, I would also do some research in terms of the uh, best deals on some things but at the same time though just because it is a best deal doesn't mean that the company you're buying it from is a good company so you need to do the research behind the scenes of these companies right and what's really going on and uh, also get on the website and find out negative news on these companies okay I know there's a lot of positive stuff out there because if you were in business you would want to uh, make sure that your business has a lot of good stuff said about you but if you do uh, if you dig deeper you'll be able to find a lot more you can find things in the comment sections of some of these review websites you can uh, check some of these companies that uh, will have blogs and forums and all sorts of posts 
about being ripped off, okay? And these people will uh, share, these consumers will share all of their experiences on some of these sites. So they're out there. Definitely check out consumer review websites and just start doing your research. So God will not have us to be foolish, but there are those individuals who are children of darkness who want to fool both children of light as well as children of darkness. And they're getting away with much because a lot of folks don't know how to put their pride aside and just tell, just report. Some of them claim they're too busy and they don't have the time. But the truth is, is that they do. Uh, they can make the time. They don't have to inundate themselves with so much activity during the day that they can't sit down and simply file a complaint. Okay. But people who could care less, people who got a lot of money, I don't need to worry about stuff like that. God bless them. They stole. Uh, maybe they needed it and all of that. Okay. But at the end of the day, just think of how many people they are getting away with swindling. Well, that is it. Blessings to you. Please do check the description box for anything that might be of interest. You've been listening to YouTube NM Enterprise 7. Subscribe today. Also, if you haven't given, we do welcome donations.